Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Skyrim. We got absolutely terrible sleep last night, <clears throat> seeing as we were drunk up here on the roof. Um, the good news is... You have a grim look. Need something? We're only slightly hungover. <clears throat> a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. We're very tired, though. So, let's eat a bit of food. Drink a bit of water. And we'll be uh, on our way. Yeah, cooked beef, I guess. And a honey nut treat. Peckish. Yeah, what the hell? Let's eat the last honey nut treat. That's all our food. That's all our food. Whoops. Still here. Yep. Uh, yep. Sorry. Shit. I'm stuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa. I didn't notice that before. Hang on. Orcish bow. Well-made dwarven bow. Hmm. Okay. Not really. Not really worth it. Hang on. I'm gonna stick that bow in here along with my empty bottles. Okay. So, today, we're going to try to, we should be able to, get all the way back to Riften, I think. Uh, we've got a quest to turn in with Mercer. We've still got the fishing and shill quests that are to be done in Riften. Um, while we're in town, we'll want to kill Ungrian. Partly because he hired some thugs to come get us, and partly because uh, we're doing that quest with Kassak, the weird orc up in Solitude, who's like, kill people whose names start with the letters of Ulfric's name, so we're on a U right now. Ungrian's a perfect target. Uh, and then we'll see what else we want to do while we're in town. Should we not stop by this place as well? Let's see. Just trying to run myself. So we've killed the bandit leader at this tower, which means we can collect the bounty from the Nuriel when we get back to town. But we still have... That one, I think, is in Falkreath? Yeah, that's a ways away. Okay. But, we do still have this one. Vampire activity. Ooh. That might prove difficult. But we can check it out. Let's try it. Hmm. Probably just set right over the... Just do head due east over the hill here. We'll check it out. We can always come back later if it's too difficult. Miko! Don't fall! Hey, dude. You... You came down the steps. What happened up there? How did you manage to survive? Oh, we had a rockin' party. It was great. He's much cheerier than I expected. Yeah, there's a party going on. What are you babbling on about? Party? Upstairs? Nonsense, I've only heard screaming. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's obvious Dravos has been doing more work with his tongue than with his mace. Well, whatever he's up to, my conscience is clear. Good. Good to hear. Uh... How did you... let's see... How did you manage to summon him? Yeah. I was at the Bee and Barb in Riften having a drink when I met a man by the name of Sam Gwavine. Hmm. When I told him of my plan to rid the world of snow apes, he offered to help. Racist. But first he wanted to play a game. If I managed to solve his riddle, he told me, he would provide me with a powerful weapon to attain my goal. With nothing to lose, I accepted his challenge. In the end, the riddle proved rather easy to solve. What stands on four legs in the morning, ten legs during the day, and is stood upon at night? Four legs in the morning, ten during the day, and is stood upon at night. God, I have no idea. Um, a chair, I'm gonna say? Well, knights often call for men to stand on chairs. It never has more than four legs. 
No, the answer to the riddle is a dirty Khajiit thief. How in the hell does that work? On all fours as a kitty. Okay. Stands on its toes as it attempts to steal your coin purse and dies a worthless rug under your feet. So we're counting toes as legs now, huh? What was the reward for solving the riddle? Sam handed me a scroll. He said that if I used it, I could summon a bound Dramora to this realm for an indefinite amount of time. I take it that's where Dravos came from. I wasn't from. sure if I believed him, but it wasn't something I could try in the middle of a crowded city. So I headed west to this watchtower. There were a couple of orc bandits guarding the entrance. I decided they would make a good test what the hell for just happened? Dramora. What happened next? I'm not sure. I ran for cover as soon as I summoned him. I couldn't risk getting hit by a stray arrow. Instead, I waited for an hour and returned to find the Yorks gone. No doubt dispatched by the Jamora. As for Travos, I found him on the roof, celebrating his kill with a drink. I found it a bit suspicious, but it made no difference to me. So long as he killed the snow monkeys I sent upstairs. Jesus, dude. Only now am I starting to wonder. Yeah. Whether he's actually just partying with them? Um. Uh, he could lie, I suppose, but no, I don't think he's killed anybody. What? You mean to tell me it isn't just you? Every single one of those bearded hawkers I've sent him is alive? No. Impossible. This is the only exit to the watchtower. You're a liar, stranger. You're the one not to be trusted. Alright, fine. I tried, dude. I tried helping you. Whatever. Okie doke. Let's... Where's my gang? Where are the razors at? There we are. Okay. East. Am I heading east? Yeah, mostly. East, over the hillside. Let's save it. view up here. If I can actually climb this. Hmm. Seems that I can't. Well. It's an okay view. What is that tower? Oh. I think we've seen a fort there. From this side of the, of the lake we've seen a fort there. It must be what it is. There they are. They're just taking their sweet time. Thought I heard something. Silver! Hey! Dargo, where are you at, man? Pretty sight. The rift in the morning. You have a grim look. Thank you. Fine. Let's trade then. Just gonna get the uh, pickaxe from you. No, not that. Damn it. Lead us to our next task. Right here. Yeah. Okay, let's do this this way. Not that way. This way. No? That's weird. What the hell? I have two pickaxes now.
There we go. It's I hear the sound effect telling me that I'm getting things, but it's not giving me the message except that last time. Okay. Whoa. Hello. An orc follows <laughs> to the death. You are big, man. Fine. Let's trade then. Okay, I'll give you that back. And Oh, here, take a bear pelt, and a fox pelt, and a horse hide, and that. Uh, that. Those. That and that. Lead us to our next. Uh, I wish I wasn't so tired, but that's what happens when you have all-night parties with demons. Still, it was pretty fun. Gonna be somebody that's gonna be friendly? No, apparently not. That's close enough. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Of course I missed with that first shot. That sucks. Did she fall to her death? She did! <laughs> okay. Fall Cave. Oh, and a dead Khajiit, huh? What the hell's going on around here? So the Necromancer is what? Working for the vampires? That's not actually a thing. Well, you stupid Necromancer. Ooh! Glass Dagger! Hey, that reminds me of the one I used to have uh, that I got from good old Wileyer. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Hmm. How interesting. So, is this the cave then? Okay, where's my group? Well, should we try going in here? See what the story is? Are you? You're in here by yourself. Answer my query, and I will tell you if wars have any meaning. Uh, what was your question? Sorry, I didn't hear it. Is the world worth saving? Yeah, sorry, I don't care for riddles, dude. My intent was not to confuse. I've been so consumed by this quest, I didn't know where else to turn. What's this war you're referring to? What quest? <clears throat> For the last two years, I have embarked on a single road. Ours was to walk its twists and turns, overcome its many obstacles. All the while believing that if I followed it to the end, I would find redemption. Only it appears the road ends here. In this hollow cave, 
with the corpse of the child I was asked to save. It was rumored huh? that the child left for Eastmarch to join the Stormcloaks in defiance of the father's alignment with the Empire. For a lord's house, the truth was far more incriminating. And for a loving father, one far more heartbreaking. Thus the Lord could not trust anyone, save an Argonian prisoner. One guilty of the child's same crime. Vampirism. Oh, you're a vampire? She was a vampire? Um, you don't look like a vampire. Yes, the skin, eyes, and fangs are telltale signs. But some men can't be sure the same is true for other races. I was staying at an inn near the border when one of the local Nords decided to take offense with my presence. His was to challenge me to a brawl, and when I refused, he accused me of being a vampire. I see. That didn't go over well, huh? The word was toxic. That morning, two bodies were found outside, torn to shreds. Unrecognizable masses, if not for the bones and teeth. Things were tense around the village, and the guards were in a hurry to solve the case and placate the locals. I made an easy scapegoat. Locked in that cell for days, I began to starve. Mm. Not for blood, but for food. Theirs was to offer me bread in exchange for a confession. It was better to die by the axe than starvation, but few can stomach either. So I did what all mortals do when there is no logical escape. I prayed. What happened? To Julianos for temperance. To Stendar for mercy. To Mara for love. And when I awoke the next morning, my cage was gone, as was my hunger. Huh? <laughs> um. The divine? Yeah, I was gonna say the divines freed you from prison. That's interesting. Not quite, but they granted me the resolve to persevere, so that I could give those who would aid me time to arrive. This is how the divines act. Not through direct force, but through a subtle nudge, an encouraging word, or a favorable wind. So how did you get freed from prison? The night before, I was paid a visit by a man, his face shrouded by the hood of his robe. In his arms, he cradled an urn, filled with the dust of a vampire. The dust was to be scattered around my cell, as proof of my demise. I knew not how much coin he had passed to my jailers, but it was enough to carry on with the ruse. Outside the barracks, a carriage awaited us both. It took us to a nearby chateau, where I would meet my true employer. Hi, Miko. Sounds like you left one prison for another, but go on. Now let's hear what happened next. When they brought me before the house lord, I told him I did not kill those men. He told me he already knew. The real murderer was his own kin. Oh no, the little girl? He asked me if it was true about vampires. If they formed clans, family. He wanted to know if I knew where his daughter had fled. I told him no. But I could find her. After all, I was a hunter. A member of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Goodness. So I told him why I came to Skyrim and my desire for penance. Then he made an offer. A second chance for him, his daughter, and for me. Hmm. The Order of the Virtuous Blood, uh, uh, Stilico, I don't think knows this, but that's one of the quests you do in uh, the game Oblivion. You said the finding the girl was the was a form of penance. What crime did you commit? Before coming to Skyrim, I had spent my life hunting vampires for the Order. Much like the Vigilance, we often hunted in pairs. 
My partner was a Nightblade named Arlaz. He used stealth and shadow to eliminate our targets, while I covered him from a distance. This was a remarkable courage. Many in the Order prefer long-range attacks to avoid the chance of infection. Arlaz never deterred from his methods. Courage alone, however, was not enough to prepare us for what lay in that den hmm. nearly four winters ago. What happened in the den? I watched Arlaz scout ahead from afar, melting to the shadows in search of the enemy. The den was for all intents and purposes empty. Yet, the center table showed not a fleck of dust, and the torches on the wall were recently lit. A hmm. shiver swam up my tail like a cold fish. But I knew Arlas was safe so long as he stuck to the shadows. Until I saw the shadows themselves move. Creepy. The shadow spread its wings. As did the others, cloaking the room in darkness. They came from above, like bats descending on their prey. Ours was to call to my friend and reach for my staff, trying to shield his escape with fire. We barely made it out alive, but not unscathed. One of those foul demons had raked its talons across our last back. All I had to do was look into his narrowing pupils to see the infection had taken root. Mm. You could have cured him with a potion, no? It was progressing faster than any case of vampiris I had ever witnessed. Potions had no effect. There was no time to take him to a healer. So what did you do? Ours was to ask for his last request. He said, cure me. I thought it was a joke. He always made me laugh. Now I know the extent of my folly. Months later, I discovered his journal while putting away his things. It seems he had anticipated infection from the moment he joined the Order. He had been corresponding with a mage named Valion. A mage who was studying a cure. Hmm, so you, you killed him. That was the quote-unquote cure. Um, you can't blame yourself. Uh, I think uh, he was... He sounds like he was asking to be killed, right? If you couldn't actually cure him. You did what you thought was right. Yours is a statement that I am thankful for. Perhaps, as the divines work in the shadows, there is a greater purpose to be found. I thought our last death brought me to Skyrim to save the nobleman's daughter. Now I wonder if they have brought me here to meet you. Really? Uh... Yeah, from outside I thought this would be a necromancer's hideout. There was a necromancer up on the perch up there. Vampire dens have always been notoriously easy to track. Theirs is to cling to the fringes of a major hold, close to the road where traders pass. Hmm. That is where a runaway vampire would seek shelter amongst her kind. This one, however, had spent her entire life in the care of her noble parents. Hers was to run to where no one else could find her. The caves and nooks where darker forces wish to carry on unseen. So how did you track her down? It was a hunch, but with nary a lead, ours was to rely on chance. So I listened for rumors of necromancy first, and vampires second. There was an argument at the Bee and Barb about some nefarious activity near Source Stone. Some claimed it was black mages, others said vampires. Ours was to follow the lead here, to Balderfall Cave. One could only pray to our cave that our arrival was not too late. Hmm. Uh, I assume you were too late then. Not exactly. 
The child was still alive when I entered the cave. Not only alive, but healthy and smiling. Huh? One of the bodies that lies here was once a highborn, the kin of a gnome. My old friend Arlaz had a saying. Sickness is a virtue. The healthier a vampire was, the more often he had fed. The girl left me no choice. Hers was an existence that lived to feed, to milk the blood of those around her. Including the unfitting necromancers that took her on as an apprentice. Ooh, I see. So she uh, fed on the necromancers, killed them, presumably. And you found her when she had finished that work and was at her healthiest. So you killed her then? What happens now? Someday, I will return to that village and tell her father a lie. It is not one that can be told right away. I will tell him she was a sweet girl who ran to protect him. A girl who laughed, who danced, and who loved. A girl who sought a cure, and in the absence of one, took her own life. Ours is to tell him she achieved everything we hoped to out of life in a quarter of the time. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me about the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Theirs is a centuries-old order, dating back to the Oblivion Crisis. Hmm. It began as merely a gathering of feeble lords, until the Divines intervened. Legends say the hero of Kvarch became a member, and trained the Order in the ways of combat. That knowledge was passed down from old members to new, and over time, the Order became more organized, and its rituals more austere. Today, members are handpicked and trained from a young age. Ours was a life cloistered in barracks and libraries, sharpening the weapons of war. We dedicated our lives to a single purpose. To silence all other voices, so that we are better attuned to listen. Hmm. Okay. Uh... When I first came in, you started talking to me before I even knew who you were. You were asking about the point of war. What? What? Uh, are you fighting a war? It was a question that was asked of me whenever I began to doubt my faith or the side I have chosen in this fight. Ours is a life consumed by blood. I have lost family to wars, great and small. Wars on the battlefield and in the mine. Wars blur the lines of morality until we know not whether victory is a triumph of the spirit or a failure to be civil. Only as members of the Order of the Virtuous Blood, ours was a resolve that could not favor, even when our foes wore the faces of children. What is the <laughs> meaning of war? It is to fight for a cause that is absolute, against an evil that deserves no clemency. I see, so then what's the problem? Why were you asking me? If sanguine vampiris is merely a disease, one that can be cured, then my faith is once more cast into I doubt. I see. Ours was a childhood race to do one thing. Hunt vampires. I know of no other life. So he mentioned that there's this Falian person that was looking for a cure. I guess if he heard that there might be a cure, he's second-guessing whether killing vampires was a just uh, thing to be doing with his life. Find vampires is an award more like a skirmish. Vampires aren't people. Now shut up and help me hunt the bloodsuckers. Uh... I think uh, Stilico, uh, Stilico doesn't have any interactions previously with vampires. He's never encountered one, he's he's never heard of one, I mean he's heard tales of vampires, but he's never heard rumor of them being nearby. Um, so 
So I don't. I guess I mean, so out of character knowledge, when we met Cassock in uh, the the Winking Skeever in Solitude, Cassock looks to be a vampire, but I don't think Stilico would notice that because he's he's not even familiar. Hang on, dude. Hang on. We weren't done talking. Yours is to pass, and ours is to delight. Okay, wait. Hang on. I'm gonna ask this again, so that we can get back to the oh, questions that we had. Only as m what is the mean if ours was okay. a child? Okay. So we're gonna say vampire or not, kill the ones that try to kill you. It's not that complex. A mantra of self-defense is ideal in theory, but an infection must be cut off before it spreads. Action must be taken. Ours was to Tail stop it cool. by curing the diseased. Theirs was to decline that choice. And yet to hear your words, I am left in doubt. Perhaps there was another way. A way to convince the girl of her mistake. One that I was trained by the Order not to see. See. Hence the... The... Uh, whoa. Hence the crisis of faith, huh? Um, so you, you still seem to be very conflicted about your decision to kill her. When I was young, my mentor told me a tale of the peasant who found a stray cat living in the alley behind his house. His was to bemoan its presence. But weeks later, he found that the cat kept his home free of vermin. The peasant grew quite fond of the cat. Until one day, it bit his leg and infected the man with a terrible fever. The peasant, who had never been ill a day in his life, finally went to see the city alchemist, whom he had stubbornly avoided all these years. It was love at first sight. But who is to say hmm? how the peasant would feel the next day? He fell in love with the alchemist? All he could do is take that chance. I wish to follow you on your quest. I do not know to what end, but ours is to trust in the will of the divines. You wish to follow me on my quest? Uh, what will you do? Ours is to oh, wait okay. here for more of her brethren. The girl may have taken a liking to some of them and chosen to infect ah, I see. and kill. If you are in need of a companion, however, I will be honored to journey with you on your quest. Interesting. He has voiced a desire to come with us. I don't know why he thinks that we're somebody he should join up with, but that's cool. Um, clearly, though, he feels like there is still a risk that there could be other vampires that might be re uh, returning to this cave at some point. So here's what I'm going to say. We do plan to get the Razors uh, back up and running as a full-on bandit group, like we had in Cyrodiil. Uh, and we still, I have not forgotten, we still want to find this Egaur, the, the bandit that we had with us, one of the Razors from Cyrodiil who betrayed us and caused us to be captured. He's still out there somewhere in Skyrim, we think. So, I think when we do try to reform a large group for the Razors, we will take this gentleman with us. He hasn't actually given us his name yet, but we'll say that we're, we've learned his name, we've given him our name and our companions' names. Uh, we'll take Among the Hist with us, but I think it makes role-playing sense that he would want to stay here for now to try to make sure he finishes up um, finishes up his uh, vampire hunting. So, that's where we'll, we'll say farewell to him for now and tell him that we hope to see him again sometime soon. We'll, we'll know where to find him. It was very nice to meet you among the hists. Spell tome, transmute blood. I have had a viewer suggest to me, because I was trying to get, uh, oh. Trying to get, um. Oh, way back when. Trying to get Hood to read a Poison of Fury. Since this is a necromancer cave and he. An orc follows to the death. He's going to be hanging out here. This isn't his stuff, right? I can just take this. Um, uh, I was trying to get Hood to read a spell book, giving it to her, she didn't read it, but possibly if I, I had a viewer suggest to me, why don't you tell her to try to read it, see if that does anything. Alright, what is it? What do you need? 
Oh, nope, she won't read it, she'll just take it. Okay. Anything else? Fine, I'll take it and I'll sell it. I wonder what transmute blood does. I, I won't take it because that's, uh. That's among the hists. Kill. Interesting. Why would necromancers have slaughterfish, apart from, I guess, just food? Oh shit! I just I just saw that it was trapped. It's off a quiet flame. I'm gonna say he took this stuff. Um, that's not even there. Among the hiss took it. All right. Well, where did he go? Where the hell did he go? Did he go outside? Does that mean I can't come back and find him sometime? I'll be bummed out if I can't... Ooh. I'll be bummed out if I can't come back and find him. There he is. Where is he going? Maybe he's just going to get some water or something and he'll be back to the cave. I'm going to assume that I can always come back here to this cave and find him. I hope that that's the case because I'd really like for him to join, join the group. Hmm. I could say follow me and then tell him to wait at the cave. But I'm thinking that that must that's gotta be what he's scripted to do. I'm gonna say that that's the case. It'd be kind of weird if he wasn't. Let's just see where he goes. I'm just curious now. It's three thirty already. Jeez, Louise. Very tired, and I'm hungry. So, where are you going, dude? See, he just came down to get some water. Okay, fine. Let's go, gang. To Riften. Want to remember to come back to Boulderfall Cave sometime to collect among the hist. Good luck with your quest, my friend. He obviously has no qualms about killing. I mean, obviously he prefers to hunt vampires, but... I suspect... I mean, he said he wanted to join me on my quest, so he must not be opposed to doing whatever kind of nasty killing I might be willing to do. A hunter or a bandit? You're a hunter, aren't you? This is the end for you. Nope, you're a bandit. What the hell's going on here? Traveler. Hey! Killed a wolf. I get to take the wolf's loot. Where'd that traveler go? I was gonna see if I could banditize him. Oh, there you are. Hey! Oh, she killed a troll, even. Brilliant. Thank you. Hand over your valuables. Don't hurt me. You win. You got nothing. Ah, be on your way. Maybe the bandit actually already robbed him. Let's say that's what happened. And whatever loot she has on her was actually his. It's still not very much. Okay, fine. Alright, let's see. I think I recognize this. That's Shore's Stone. This Boulderfall Cave is right up the hill from Shore's Stone. 
We'll go this way. You want to talk to me after everything you've done? <laughs> no, I have nothing to do with you, sir. Hi. Hand over everything you've got. I'll teach you to talk to me that way. No, you won't. Ugh. Ooh, goat cheese. Uh, ooh, fine clothes. I'm starving. I'll eat your goat cheese. Alright, let's see if this fort is repopulated or not. Hope we can just run right through it. Horse, I don't see anybody. Hmm? Come on, gang, keep up. We're almost to Riften. Uh, we can maybe sleep. I've been looking for you. Mm. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Really? Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Don't you give me, dude. Bill of sale. Nope. Uh, no, from Beltrus, I'm not reading that. Suspicious gray skin. Huh? To all true sons of Skyrim, the guards don't listen to me. I've told them one of those gray skins is up to something. Always heading out to the docks at night, sending signals to her friends in Morrowind, no doubt. Damn darkies are going to overrun the city if we don't stop them, Rolf That's the message that you gave me? What the hell, dude? I don't want that shit. I don't give a crap. Weird. Okay. Thanks, you weirdo. Epic return home! 